Hey everyone, I'm Sala and welcome to my first vlog ever. <laughs> I never did this before, so we'll see how it goes. Soon I will attend an anime-oriented convention in Jerusalem called Animatsuri. I did do an artist alley before, but it was when I was younger. I shared a table with two of my friends back then and only had like four prints or so. This time I'm trying to take this more seriously and have fun with it along the way, hopefully. <laughs> For me, it's more about the journey than anything else and the learning experience. So even though it's my first convention in quite some time, I'm trying not to worry about it so much. And if I'll have more expenses than a profit, it's fine by me. I'm trying to be realistic with my schedule as I have a full-time job being an artist and this is more of a hobby for me. I'm very perfectionist and I don't want to overwhelm myself. That's why most of my prints will probably be drawings I already had. And maybe I will reuse some of my old prints from my previous convention. And I also plan to make keychains, so it's very exciting. I will order them from Alibaba and I really hope they will come here in time. just came back from the print shop. I actually had to go there twice because the first time there were some problems with it. As you can see, here are some small uh, red dots and you can see it uh, in different places. Some of them were really big. So the second time I went there, they actually fixed most of them, but some were even worse than before. Like you can see here the colors. And here is how the original print supposed to look like. 
Uh, it's more of a pinkish color and here it looks like the colors are faded. I guess that's what it is. So somewhere like this. And they even gave me prints like that. Like it... It's funny. But um, yeah. Also, I'm not exactly satisfied with the print quality. Uh, I think the colors could be better. And also the paper feels really thin. It's thinner than what I asked for. So yeah, so that's that. I also made something like this. It's nice. Uh, all in all, it's okay, because it's a small local print shop, and uh, next time I will just choose more wisely, and uh, I will do it ahead of time and not in the last minute. But for now, I think it's okay. Yeah. I also ordered some stickers from the same print shop, and I haven't realized that they're not going to be cut by the shape. I asked them if it's possible to have round stickers and uh, they told me no problem for sure and gave me the size of the file that I should work on but I should have clarified exactly what I wanted so now I'm kinda stuck with those stickers those round stickers that I need to cut by myself I'm a perfectionist <laughs> and I'm not sure if I will be able to do it. Maybe I'm just being over dramatic. I don't know. I'm sure I can do it. It just will take me some time.
Tomorrow is the convention. Yeah, I just finished organizing my suitcase. Let me show you what's inside. So, here I have a um, metal wired storage cube wipe. I bought it on Amazon for the display of my posters. I uh, watched some other artists use it, so I thought it's a good solution. And here I have a binder to storage all of my posters. And next I have this portfolio, uh, portfolio book, I guess, to showcase all of my posters. And here I have this thingy, which is uh, to display my keychains, which, by the way, turned out to be amazing. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't because I ordered it with my friend and uh, I still didn't have the chance to get it from her, so she will bring it to me tomorrow at the convention. My best friend just came over to my place to help me out tomorrow and uh, we need to wake up pretty early, so that's it for now. Let me tell you about my experience at the convention. It's not my first time being in this sort of event, but selling at one felt completely different for me. The best part was skipping the line. I'm joking, of course. The best part for me was meeting new people, fellow artists and all the customers. I was a bit nervous at first, but I got the hang of it pretty quickly. I wasn't sure if I'm going to make a profit out of this, or even cover all of my expenses, but in the end I did manage to make some income. Most of my income was from the keychains and my most recent drawings that I drew especially for the convention, like Naruto, Hatsune Miko, so it was really encouraging for me. I felt like I did something right. My keychains were extremely popular, so much so that some of my designs were out of stock in the first few hours. It was just amazing to be there and see people take interest in my art. I want to thank everyone who helped me out through this process, especially my best friend that was there for me for the whole day. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys on my next one.
Thank you.